Hello everyone on the internet and thanks for tuning in. This is Ryu Kiva from Ryu Kiva Toku with another Toku unboxing. Today I am doing Amazon Omega from Kamen Rider Amazons, the Amazon special which ironically I bought this from eBay. Um, price wise it massively varies. Uh, I, I can't even remember how much I bought this for uh, but I do remember again like price wise it varies wildly but yeah boy on eBay brand spanking new um, and let's see box uh, for some odd reason it's got open your Amazons on here written across the window uh, box art looks pretty decent actually uh, Amazon logo as per to Machination. Um, it's quite a small box. Uh, got like a silver seal of approval from Bandai. Thank you very much. Um, and approved by Toei and Kamen Rider Amazon Omega. Simple style and heroic action. Not much else written. Warning choking hazard. Um, I think where I imported this as well, they've got a few English labels on here that aren't part of the box, which might take it down in value, but who's reselling it, eh? So on with the unboxing. Uh, it looks pretty simple against quite a small box. Side art, yeah, it's just a couple, yeah, it's just a stand of him there. Uh, seems he does have a little bit of a wishy wish effect, and I think two weapons from what it looks like. Uh, but let's have a look, shall we? Right, are there any instructions? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, there's a go to our QR code thing there, which is quite, I can't say I've seen that in a box before of FHF figures. Uh, ooh, double set, like, shows like two weapons. I can't remember, I'll be honest, I don't even remember him using a weapon in either series. Um, that's because this was a two season thing of 13 episodes each oh uh, no I, I still don't remember him having a weapon even looking at this art I mean he's got a whole detachable arm but I can't remember why I don't know why but let's have a look at the figure right. Right. so he's got a whole range of hands here well, actually, no, it's just one, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hands, so I'm assuming that's four pairs with a big spear thing, as well as a short spear thing. Again, I don't remember him having that in a series. I don't know why the whole arm's attachable, though. It implies the same other side, not the direction. I don't know what, again, like, it's, some of it's in English, and then the rest of it's in Japanese, which makes sense, but... I mean, I can see, right, so the, the blades on the arm are detachable, but I'm not entirely sure, I mean, because we've got another set of blades here, but I'm not really, these are slightly longer, and then I guess they are detachable so you can attach the whooshy whoosh effect thing. Right, let's just quickly do that then. But, alright, I mean, while I'm doing while I'm doing that, details on the figure... Again, the helmet is always good on these, you know, even on these SA, standard SHF figures. Detailing is pretty good, right? Actually, I've just realised you're not supposed to detach the claw, the claw thingy. You just meant to clip the wishy wish on top. Right, so I'm assuming it goes like that. All right, that's just falling off. Right, the belt is loose. Um, again, it pulls out a thick, specifically. On the rider's right side, you can pull out the thing to make it like one part less. I'm not entirely sure why. What's the point? I mean, might as well just keep it in there. I think it's show accuracy, I'm assuming. It's not like you can put anything else in there. Right. Uh, again, detailing. I like the chrome effect. Um, and he's got the torso that implies he's like a ninja turtle. I'm not entirely sure why I said that. Balancing, I mean, again, like the detailing, I mean, on the back it's very minimal. He's got like a sort of stegosaurus thing going on. But I like the fact that the green's chrome on it. I can feel those spikes are a bit sharp. Balancing actually does feel pretty good 
on this. I mean, like I'm just doing this randomly. He's not collapsed yet. All right, there he goes. But look, um, no, I would say it's very, again, it's very well balanced. This figure. I can. F All right, what's? I don't even know what that is. Something's just fallen off of him. Uh, oh, it's the kneecap. All right. So, oh, well, minus one point for loose kneecap. I don't know. Alright. The kneecap looks weird because normally they face downwards, but on this one it goes upwards on both legs. Anyway. Let's have a look at a set of hands, shall we? It's going a bit dark while I've been recording this. Because um, it's starting to rain outside. Typical British weather. Right. I don't remember him having a spear in the series. In even in the original Amazon from the seventies, I don't remember a spear. Actually, no, I think I do. Oh well, from the seventies one, I don't remember him having it in Amazons. I don't remember him having a spear in Amazons though. Anyway, I mean, I, I mean, yo, talking about the series quickly. Series one, yeah, like in a nutshell, I really loved series one, but series two was a bit rubbish. Right, I think as soon as I try to pose him with a spear, his balance just goes off. That's about as good as I'm going to get, but again, oh, the knees come off again. Right. I think I need to super glue that or something. Right, yeah. Again, it gets really sharp when you're playing around with those sharp things. Right. Let me just quickly try something with this wishy wish thing. Right, yeah, so, I guess... I'll just do that. Well, I don't really see the point of these wishy wish effect things unless you're like, you know, pro photographer, which I guess these are aimed at anyway. Right, this one's really tough to come out. Right, there it goes. I'll clip this one in. Now I'm posing him with a spear like a sword. That's a bit weird because he probably wouldn't do that with a spear. God, I wonder how long people spend balancing figures though. But as soon as I attach the spear in the wishy wish thing, his balance goes off. But I would say that's not too bad. And again, I would say this one has one of the best colouring of figures. And yeah, the belt, bit basic. <laughs> Belt's basic. The boots are actually pretty good because I've got like reptilian style like pattern on it that's not painted. It's kind of engraved in the boots. And again, I'd say the boots, the colouring, and yeah, I guess for the wishy wish, that's not too bad. And again, just random set of hands and whatever this is. Oh yeah, more more claw things for the side. Well, anyway, that's my review of Amazon Omega. See you next time.